welcome back. Uh, we are at step two in our series of videos uh, discussing how to lay out and set up and create a light plot in Vectorworks 2024 Spotlight. Uh, in this step, I'm going to show you how to create focus points, and let's 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 get at it. Uh, and we'll make this make this guy go away. I'm just going to kind of drag him off to the side here. Uh, so I want to use them for other videos. All right, so here we are. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And now focus points for folks who are new to lighting are the places that we designate on the light plot, which will translate to the scenery where we want to focus our lighting units. So. I'm going to go and show you how I how I lay out my my focus points. So as you see here, I got a circle, and this circle is a 12 foot diameter circle. And my thinking, my I would like to have approximately 12 foot pools of light to light the stage, or to light most some of it, most of it. So. Um, again, this is pretty simple, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm more visual, so I do this before I put in the actual Vectorworks focus points. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start laying this out, and I always have a, a focus point downstage center. I, I always have, I always have an odd number of focus points. I try to have an odd number of focus points going across the stage because if there's an even number that means there won't be a, a specific focus point at center stage and it mostly works out when there are song and dance numbers or, or a big monologue that they are they end up downstage or downstage center even so I want to have a light just for that and I want to be able to if if I have two two pools of light, I have to have them both on to light somebody in the center. But if I have a focus point center stage, I only need to have one one set of lights. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my other. I'm gonna drag the circle. Oh, no, that is not sure how we got there, but we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna drag the circle. Click drag and copy. I'm gonna drag it over right about here. Maybe I'm going to scooch it over just a little bit more. Okay. And so I have my two areas and if I did this I would have three. But I think three is probably a little a little far apart. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to drag it just a just a skosh further because now the center of the lighting area is going to be right about in here. I might, might put it back just a just a touch. Okay, so but now we have this area where there's no light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and drop a circle in right in between these two. And I'm going to use my nudge tool to kind of nudge it over just a little bit. And there we go. So now if these roughly represent beams of light, pools of light, we know we're going to have a little bit of overlap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to mirror these over and use the mirror command have them both selected. Let's see, here's our mirror. We're going to mirror it around the center line. And here we have our points, or our areas for our downstage acting areas. So now what I'm going to do, just for grins, is I'm going to select all these circles. And I'm going to copy and drag them upstage. So here we are. Um, so again, we have some. We have a little bit of overlap there. Uh, it's not necessarily how they're going to overlap on stage, but just in a very basic sense, we can see there's going to be some overlap. So it looks like five is probably going to be too many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two outside circles, just for now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch out. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. 
and I think what I'm going to do just because a lot of times my brain likes to work symmetrically I'm going to take this and I'm going to mirror it over and let's just see what it looks like so yeah we have somebody they're standing right next to the right next to the stairs looks like we're 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 going to be well lit but the one thing is if somebody's standing on the staircase they're probably not going to be lit very well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a circle and we're going to put it right in the right on the middle of the stairs and we're going to put it about halfway up the stairs so on on the 30 inch step so we have this area up here where there are no lights and what I'm going to do I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to grab these three circles and I'm just going to drag them up and let's just see what happens uh, let's... so here we have our light covered in this area we have it covered here and then we have up on this landing we have it covered so the last two areas I want to put some light into is back here if we want to see somebody standing in the doorway so I'm just going to drag the circle I'm going to put it right about here yes we'll save that and then I'm going to put we have another little uh, curtained opening here and I'm going to drag and set that let's see I'm going to set that right about like that okay um, so yeah I think right now our circles based on where our very roughly placed circles are I think we're gonna have good coverage so now I'm ready to begin putting in the focus points I'm gonna zoom out just a touch and we're gonna come over to the focus point tool and it's right here it looks like a light shining on the ground so we're gonna click on we're gonna click on that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start clicking and I'm going to snap to the center of these circles. So the first one is asking me is I want do you want to call this what do you want to call it? I like to letter my focus points so I'm going to start with A. Now it's asking the focus point the focus height. Now that is usually set at five feet because we don't want the focus point on the floor because usually nobody's down there. We want the focus point at five feet why five feet you may ask because that's where most humans faces are anywhere from five to six feet and five as a general is a good starting point so we're gonna leave that there so when we do our visualization with our beams it'll be more accurate so we're gonna click on OK I'm gonna come and I'm gonna click on uh, let's see we're gonna click on B I'm just gonna click OK it's going to kind of just go down the line and I can copy and paste them okay we start here good F G okay H oh wait we have one here that's H and then we have I up here okay so now I is 30 inches above the deck so we need to add 30 inches onto our focus height so five feet is if I do my math right which I usually don't do but I'm pretty sure that's 60 inches so we're gonna add 30 inches onto that and that's going to be 90 inches and we'll just put it in inches okay let's see did it put it there yeah it did okay HI and if we come over to um, area or focus point I over in the uh, object info palette the Z height is 76 in, 7 foot 6 inches or 90 inches so we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna pop in our another we have J and that's back at 5 feet because we're on the deck and then we have one here 5 feet and then we have one up here and that is five feet plus 54 inches so that is uh, I believe that is 54 is four feet six inches so we're at nine feet six inches okay and there is that we have one more over here 
that is on the deck so we'll make that at five feet again and then we have another one back on the uh, back on the platform and that is going to be nine foot six again so now we can come back and we can delete these circles just going to quick delete them and you know what I forgot to do is I forgot to set our layer to focus points so we're going to fix that get all these deleted here okay so right now these select it yeah it's in the scenery uh, layer we do not want that so I'm going to select them all well first off I'm going to move this focus point down stage just a little bit and over some you know you feel free to adjust these focus points as you need but I'm going to start selecting them holding down my shift key just click on them all there we go there we go there we go there we go and now just come on over here change it off to focus points and now our our focus our focus points are done so in this video I showed you how to use circles to lay out the rough locations we use the focus point tool to insert Vectorworks focus points remember if somebody is standing on the ground we keep the focus point about the focus height about five feet everything else we add whatever height they're standing on to make the focus point accurate which will in turn make our beam analysis and when we start looking at that it will make that more accurate so there we are I will see you in the next video